An absolutely powerful and interesting testimony that all Christians should hear. Things were not working well. I felt, I felt like we are losing ground. When you say we, you mean the Grand Masters, the occultic, satanic, and yeah. world? You see the confusion. Now, in in that, in, uh, in 1996, we were told, I was told with my people, to move away from Uganda and stay away for some time. Is this the one you told us earlier about the 70 days? This is a different one. Okay. Now, what happened? A group of people, a man of God, uh, uh, Apostle John Malini, and, he had, and his team had gone into a prayer time for a longer time, maybe more than a year of prayer and fasting. And they had taken over the whole country and we could not operate there. So I was told, please move out until we get a strategy to disarm him and put his powers low so for him to operate. So the, he had raised a prayer in the nation and that prayer had cast complete away all the altars of the kingdom of darkness. Now, this oh, was in 96. And I see. By the way, in case you didn't catch them, it's John Molindi. Yes. And we know him here as well because he, so, he, he ran a powerful prayer ministry. Or he still runs a powerful prayer He ministry. had completely wiped out the altars. The altars. Completely. Because I remember I was told, please don't operate. Seize every action and stay away. So when we returned later in 1997, 98, things were not easy, but we're now, their, their ministry, we had infiltrated their ministry, his ministry, and they broken the wall around him because his strength was about the protection around him. The people, not him as a man. Now, because of the people were praying around him, praying for him, for him, praying for him, he could ascend in the spirit and become like an authority. So I feel that that's so strong. We could speak one word and you hear it echo for days. So by that time, we had to get all his tapes, listen to them. You had to listen to his tapes. Listen to them and identify why is this man so powerful, so strong. Well, every word he says, you feel like causes a vibration in the spirit. So like, you could literally be listening to his tape, but you're like, I don't know if we shall finish it. Now we're in the occult. We're listening. We are, we're trying to map his life. Then we're mapping his family, his background, his family. Then we realize the people around him, that every time he begins to preach, he's not the one preaching. They are the one preaching through him because he's connected in them. They've prayed so much for him. They've prayed so much around him that he picks whatever is in them. And when he... It, it amplifies. It amplifies. It. Yes. That's, that's why, like, the power of agreement. So, like, the whole team around him, there's so much in agreement that when he stands to speak, he as if they're all of them speaking in one voice. So, and because of that, even if he prays, oh, just say one word, it could be like a, like, like a whole force, an energy that goes through the entire realm. So, he was in charge of the realm. Not even saying I bind, I break. No, he didn't have no, to no. say. No, actually he didn't. All he was. Sometimes he teaches. Sometimes he could be just teaching the Bible, seeing with the people. In a and what you're talking about is not that he was teaching with shouting. Because John Molina is a very calm no, teacher, but so the words that carry so much weight in the spirit. He could teach, sit, teach a Bible like a by a truth, and then the people pick it. And then you could see like the whole atmosphere has been changed because of what is just talking to the people. Like, like I'm having a conversation with you. And as I will talk, the entire realm is charged. And, and now he is a principality over the nation. Him as a man, because of the network, because of actually because of the, the wall around him. Now they had been building that for a long time before they got to that point. In conclusion, be strong in the Lord. Be empowered through your union with Him. Draw your strength from Him, that strength which His boundless might provides. Put on God's whole armor, the armor of a heavy-armed soldier, which God supplies, that you may be able successfully to stand up against all the strategies and the deceits of the devil. For we are not wrestling with flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against the despotisms, against the powers, against 
the master spirits who are the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spirit forces of wickedness in the heavenly, supernatural sphere. Therefore, put on God's complete armor, that you may be able to resist and stand your ground on the evil day of danger, and having done all the crisis demands, to stand firmly in your place.